What is going on YouTube family? Welcome to episode 5 of Student Shredding. It is a full day of eating today. You guys love these kind of videos. You guys get um, good ideas like meal wise. You kind of loved enjoying this kind of stuff. So sit back and relax. Get your notepads out. Get your pen out and write this shit down. Hopefully these videos help you out. If you could smash 200 likes. 200 likes. It really would help me out. really would help the channel out. And um... Let me know if this video helps you down below. Let me know what you think as well. Yeah, let's get cracking. Just want to um, apologise for not uploading recently. As you might already know, um, I've got a little summer job at Tesco's and my schedule's been a little bit fucked. It's been a little bit everywhere um, the last couple of days and I haven't really got used to it at the moment, so I'm trying to get used to it. But I have a day off today, so um, yeah, it's been pretty hectic the last uh, like four or five days. But... I'm getting back into the things and I'm getting used to it and uh, videos will, be, will come more consistently, I promise. I just want to apologise for not um, uploading. My fault. I do apologise. Let's fucking get on with the shit. So this morning's weight is 69.6 kg. 11, no, 10 stone 13 and a half and 153 and a half pounds. And yes, I'm wearing boxes. Cheeks. So my um, current macros reel will be on the screen now. So I have 180 to 200 grams of protein a day. That equates to 1.1 to 1.2 grams of fat per pound of body weight. 250 grams of carbs and 50 to 60 grams of fat. Normally it's about 55 grams of fat. So that's my current uh, macro intake. Keeping the protein high, because obviously I'm in a calorie deficit. Don't want to lose any kind of uh, muscle. And also, um, carbs, kind of keeping carbs. My carbs are being okay at the moment. I'm still losing weight. I have 250 grams of protein, uh, carbs, which is pretty good. And fats have always been like kind of around 50 to 60 grams of fat. So that's my macro intake for anyone that gives a fuck. Let's go do some fasted cardio. So I mentioned a few uh, videos back what my current uh, cardio training consists of. It consists of 20 minutes of HIIT training where I do 25 second all out sprint, minute rest, 25 seconds all out sprint on like level 15, then on level 7 I do a minute rest and I do that consistently for 20 minutes, then I do 10 minutes of steady pace like level 10 on the Stairmaster, about about 350 to 400 calories in half an hour which is pretty good. And uh, yeah, it's been working for me at the moment, so I'll try and show you a few, few clips throughout. If I don't, go watch my other videos, but um, that's what I'm currently doing, it's been working for me. Let's go kill it. It's a nice day as well. cardio done as you can see sweating a little bit but that's the whole point of doing cardio getting out of the way and for rest day i can kind of like chill especially my day off and i can kind of focus more on my training later on and it's just something that starts my day off right if you know what i mean i feel so much better off doing cardio when i get home I feel more productive i don't know if you guys have ever experienced that so um need to go to um sainsbury's to pick up some ketchup because i run out 50 percent less sugar and salt ketchup and see if i can find some other goodies so i'll take you with me question for today in today's video where is everyone from i want to know where all my viewers are from whether you're from like birmingham fucking scotland uh middlesbrough um fucking norway fucking america fucking asia fucking turkey let me know where you guys are from let me know what you do as well whether you're a student whether you work full-time um Whatever you do, whether you're on the dole or not, you like the benefits, let me know in the comments below where you guys are from and what you do. Really would appreciate it. Number one, it's coming to you at 10.44am in the morning. And we have 160 grams of 5% uh, beef mints. And we have 41 grams of uh, brown 
uh, long grain rice and I'm also going to take some uh, multivitamin and cod liver oil, the standard thing for my mornings and um, squirt a little bit of 50% less sugar and salt ketchup over it. Macros for this will be on the screen now. I have, um, I've became very, um, what's the word, uh, sensible when it comes to um, my calories in for the day, I've become very smart food wise, like when to eat my calories, when to kind of not eat as much during the day and when to kind of have low carbs, all that kind of shit. So I will explain that throughout the video, but this is kind of, um, I'm training later on in the evening, so this is my first kind of meal. I don't really want too much calories going into my system because I'm not really current, currently doing anything throughout the day. So um, yeah, I'm very smart through eating my calories and stuff like that. So who's um, who's been watching Love Island as well, just currently cashing up on last night's one it is uh, Wednesday today. So Tuesday, Tuesday night one. Tuesday, yeah, Tuesday night, and uh, I didn't think it was good as last series, this one, but definitely recently, it's been tense, I've been absolutely loving it, so let me go, let, let me know who if you watch Love Island, and who do you like, for me, the best looking girl in there for me is Amber, but unfortunately she's a bit of a cunt, so, Amber is for me, I guess. <laughs> so it's time for meal number two. What do I eat is the question. So I think we're gonna go for a low carb meal. So we're gonna go for a packet of uh, large uh, vegetable mix, fuck knows what that is. And we're gonna go for some chicken breasts. I ran out of the chicken seasoning from Aldi, so today's seasoning is going to be the steak seasoning, pepper and garlic, and I'm just going to fucking go like this. Eesh. Tastes alright, but I need to go Aldi really. So the chicken is cooked, the next stage is to add the uh, veg. So, yeah, I'm going to and we're going to add a little bit of soy sauce to it. Soy sauce is fantastic for the old pumps. If you're struggling to get um, a pump in the gym, add a little bit more sodium into your diet. A great way to do it is soy sauce. You can just probably have a shot of it if you really want, or just sprinkle it like kind of over a stir fry. I'm going to use a little bit of this for the pumps, especially when you're dieting. It's very hard to get a pump sometimes when you're dieting on low carbs. Definitely recommend. Here's the Leeds United left back Charlie Taylor. We are told he's had a medical and the move should be finalised this week. So here's meal number two for me. I'll put the macros on the screen for you now. We have 161 grams of chicken and we have a quarter of the stir fry bag, which I think is about four grams of carbs. So a very low carb meal for me. Um, and yeah, like I say, I always have one shut up you. And uh, yeah, like I always say, I have one, at least one um, low carb meal for a day. And um, when it comes to around training and stuff like that, I eat pretty much half my carbs in a uh, well pre-workout. I'd say about half my carbs, and I save the rest till like later. So that's what I'm currently doing right now. And uh, meal number two has gone down. Great, easy, simple way of doing it, especially stir fry, especially on a student budget if you're skint. And um, yeah, gonna try and enjoy this kind of shit meal. And uh, I'll see you afterwards. The time is twenty past four in the afternoon. I've just done cutting the grass look at that looks terrible but if you want to employ me to cut your grass then um, feel free I'll cut your grass for you at a decent decent price but it is time for meal number three so meal number two is gonna uh, meal number two meal number three is gonna consist of two British turkey burgers and two whole meal rolls So when it comes to cooking something like this, you kind of want it on a kind of low sort of heat. You don't want to be cooking it and you don't want to be burning it like I did there. Just take your time with it. They take about 10 to 15 minutes depending on obviously um, the temperature you have it on. But I just put a little bit of salt and pepper on and you're kind of good to go. And obviously I cut my rolls in half and we're going to enjoy this pre-workout meal. going to love it. And there we have it, there's my first, um, I don't even see that, there's my first half of my pre-workout meal. Obviously you've got two whole meal rolls and two of these um, turkey burgers which I got from 
uh, Tesco's both I think got 5.5 grams of fat in it so pretty low macros will be on the screen for this bit of my pre-workout meal and I will show you once I finish this my second pre-workout meal and what I'll be taking with my pre-workout meal is two digestive enzyme tablets purely because I'm eating around about 120 to 150 grams of carbs pre-workout so I want to be able to digest this kind of food more efficiently more effectively and much easier than what them what my body can actually like handle if you know what I mean so if you're struggling with appetite struggling with any kind of um, like eating big eating like high calorie foods which you know is going to take a while to break down definitely recommend uh, using some digestive enzymes Oh yeah. Now yeah, really good. Part two to my um, pre-workout meal is 90 grams of Special K cereal. Now, I was looking at the macros on these and I was quite surprised at the macro, how good they were. Normally with cereal, there is so much sugar in cereal, um, it's a joke, but per 30 grams is 24 grams of carbs, which is 4.5 grams of sugar which is pretty good 0.5 grams of fat and about 2.7 grams of protein which actually isn't bad and like i said normally you buy cereal and stuff like that and it's got a load of sugar in it which is not a bad thing obviously but it's not always a good thing especially when you're dieting that you don't want too much sugar in your um diet but these are excellent for pre-workout because there's not too much sugar or there's not too little sugar so it's perfect for my pre-workout meal to give me energy throughout my workout very easy to digest that's why people have cereal in the morning and timings around my two pre-workout meals so my first pre-workout meal had about an hour and a half to an hour and 15 minutes before training and the special care I'm having it 45 minutes before I train so just to give you a rough idea when I take my pre-workout meal so hopefully that's helped you out macros in total will be on the screen for the whole thing and I'm gonna go and enjoy this now so no I'll, oh yeah by the way no milk either just dry special care don't be getting my um, calories from any kind of dairy product so let's go and enjoy it so pre-workout, I'm going to be taking RCR's pre-workout they sent me. Pretty good workout, 500 milligrams of caffeine and yeah, it's pretty good. It's like 4 grams of carbs as well, but I'm not going to track it. Um, but it doesn't taste the best though. It doesn't taste the best. You've tried it, haven't you? Mm. Don't taste the best. But I'm going to neck it. See if I can do it. <laughs> It wasn't bad actually. <laughs> So it was a good workout yeah, but I'll be honest with ya, I'm pretty pissed off because my grip was shit. I don't know why, if it was sweaty, if it was, I don't know, the heat, the stickiness, but when it was like all my rowing motion, stuff like that, my grip was shit. I, and it was fatiguing quicker than what my forearms and my grip was fatiguing quicker than what my lats and uh, traps and rhomboids were. So I'm not happy about that, but sometimes it happens, like I said, um, the weather plays a big part in that kind of stuff. and. Uh, yeah, but I'm pissed off because my grip was shit. But let's go on to post-workout nutrition. Post-workout, I have 114 grams dried weight of this long grain um, rice. And we have three whole eggs. And there we have it, 114 grams of uh, long grain rice and three whole eggs. And you know what time it is. Gang. Squirt a little bit of that over. And that is... Meal number four or five, I can't remember. Meal number four, I think, or five. Fuck knows. That's my post-workout meal. Now, before you say, fuck me, uh, that's disgusting. Eggs and rice, what the fuck? Just imagine egg fried rice. Sort of tastes like that, just a little bit uh, different. 
But at first I was like, oh, does that go together? Is that going to taste like shit? But it actually don't taste as bad as what I thought it would be. So um, definitely give it a go. Just try it for yourself. Don't be fucking like, oh, no, I ain't going to do that. Try it and let me know what you think down in the comments below. But um, I think I need one more meal because I'm very low on uh, fats today. I need to up my fats a little bit. I think I'm like 20 grams off my fats at the moment, which is pretty insane. But I'll show you what I have for my final meal for tonight. So my final meal, just getting a little bit more protein, a little bit more fat in, is the um, turkey mince fries. Pretty lean, but there's still a little bit of fat in it. I think there's five grams of fat per 100 grams. So just gonna have a little bit of this before I go to bed. So I got myself 150 grams of this um, turkey fry mince. I'm just going to eat like that, probably squirt a little bit of ketchup over it and that is going to be my final meal of the day. Macros for this little tiny meal on the screen now, I think it's about 170 uh, calories, nothing too crazy before I go to bed. And the current time is 10 to 11 at night and that is me pretty much finished for the day so I'll see you guys in the morning. What's going on YouTube family? Um, currently in the next morning of course and I just want to go through my uh, calorie intake quickly and um, just to, just talk just talk to you a little bit not for too long because this video is going to be quite long but um, yeah so macros for today or yesterday would be on my screen on the screen now um, I did 2,231 calories um, 199 grams of protein 250 carb and 44 grams of fat a little bit low on the fat but no, not really not really too bothered about that my protein was high anyway so i've hit my targets pretty much apart from i was about uh six grams off my fat which isn't isn't like too crazy like if you don't hit your targets every day just make sure you hit close enough to it if you're like 25 30 grams off like your fat for example then that's when you should start kind of worrying but if you're like six grams off do not worry about it too much it's not a, a crazy big deal but um yeah, that's what my diet's currently looking like. I kind of eat the same shit every day, really. Nothing really changes in um, my diet. I'm very simple, very basic. I don't really do like these Gordon Ramsay kind of style meals. Quite cheap as well. And uh, if it's cheap for me, then it's cheap for anyone, I believe. So, um, yeah. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Hopefully you got some uh, tips from uh, the video. If you watched the whole thing, comment down below, watch. So I know you watched the whole thing. Um yeah gonna wrap this video up now guys hopefully this video has helped you make sure you smash the like button if you get 200 likes really does help me out really does show me that you guys kind of enjoy these videos and i'm doing something right finally doing something right so let me know what you think in the comments below thank you for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one